Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing our final week of my birthday month celebration and we're going to be doing green themed nails. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below and click on that notification bell for future videos. So if you haven't seen in this video series, I am celebrating my birthday month by every week uh, doing a concept of something that I like and applying it to both short nail and long nail videos. So every week I've been posting back to back a short nail video and a long nail video based on whatever the concept was for that week. So for this week, because I love green and ironically, I do not do a lot of green nails although i did do um two of them uh my martini cocktails this month um but yeah it's very far in between that i do green nails so i thought that um i would do that there was just so many other things that i love um that i wanted to make a design of so maybe i'll save them for next year um but yeah so i went out and i got some green rhinestones um I usually just use uh, the clear or the crystal, but I found these um, really cute green ones, so I'm kind of excited to use them. So again, I stripped the previous design and I applied on um, the Builder in a Bottle from Madame Glam. And I'm really liking um, Builder in a Bottle. I mean, I don't 100% love it over Builder Gel in a Pot. But I love that I can use it and it's very, it makes um, my nail beds look super awesome without too much filing, which I think is pretty cool. So um, I did that and I put on a layer of Madame Glam base coat and now I'm using Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel. Um, I'll leave a color in the description box below. I use the same colors all the time. This is one of my favorite green shades and I'm using my favorite chrome shade. Um, but I just never really, I think it's like Jealous Boyfriend or something like that. But I'll leave the names of the polishes in the description box below. Um, and then I'm putting a, after it fully dries, I think that I did that overnight. Um, then I'm putting on a layer of matte top coat. We're going to matte top coat the green French tips and I'm going to gloss coat, regular top coat, the chrome nail. Um, I wanted to take a moment to celebrate the July birthdays. I think for the past four weeks, I had posted up two names, um, SF dream beauty and um, anisa green they had birthdays this month but i did get a late entry let me know when your birthday is i can give you a shout out so um another july birthday is um a i watch channels from all over the world guys so if you have channels and i, I know who does um, I always get the chance to um, watch all of your videos. I had my anniversary and of course I've had some family um, issues. So I kind of been <laughs> a little immobile to catch up, but I've, um, I, I'm getting there and I'm catching up. There's one channel that, like I said, um, has a July birthday. His uh, channel name is Manish French Studio. And um, I, myself being an artsy fartsy kind of person, I love all forms of art and he does a lot of paintings. So if you want to check them out, check, out, uh, bleh, check out his channel, Manish French Studio. So I have an idea of um, how I'm going to form these rhinestones on my nail to keep um, the matte coat finish. Um, I'm going to be using rhinestone glue, but I'm going to be putting on dabs of the matte, um, top coat so that when it cures, it'll cure over the rhinestone glue. If I didn't do that, then it would be shiny and I just want to make sure that we dull out that shine. So the reason for this is because I do think that this, um, a green French tip would look fabulous um, as a matte coat, a matte finish, but also I want to accentuate the rhinestones that I'm going to be putting on here. 
We're going to go fairly simple and repetitive on the four nails and then for my accent nail where I put the um, glossy finish, I'm going to do a different um, formation of the rhinestones. So um, I also lined with the chrome um, just the edge of the um, smile line for the French tip and I put a nice slender thin chrome line down the middle of the, the tip. Um, I thought this was very chic and modern and um, it's a definitely nice twist to the French tip and um, when I was done with the rhinestones and the caviar beads on the whole set it kind of jumps out as it ended up being like um i don't know if there's an official art term to use for this but uh i used to love um seeing some of the um ornate um decor moroccan decor and I feel like with the caviar beads and the rhinestones together in the pattern that I made for uh, the accent nail um, kind of reminded me of um, some Moroccan influence there. Um, there was a period of time in my 20s where I was like all about that, <laughs> that life. Um, even the architecture. I went to, you know, architecture school. Um, I've repeated my background um, a few times in my videos, but yeah, so uh, I kind of like, I have these ar architectural moments in my nails. I feel like I wish I could just integrate more architecture into my nails. I do, I do do <laughs> architecture um, as a full-time job, so, uh, but you know, it's nothing ornate and beautiful. I mean, it's just houses i mean and they're great too but i mean nothing can compare to the taj mahal you know what i'm saying so <laughs> at any rate um yeah so uh more about my uh, uh my updates um you guys like you would understand like i sound nice and peppy because one i feel like you should in a video <laughs> i mean who wants to listen to someone that's kind of like you know sounding like eeyore but um as I mentioned, you know, doing these videos and going on YouTube, uh, chatting with our community, it uh, makes me feel a lot better. Um, in my last video, um, I had mentioned that I was just going through some family illnesses and um, it's, you know, I don't want to get into too much detail, but, you know, one has COVID, the other, you know, has a stroke and it's just been a little trying for me. Um, it just, it's something that, you know, you just can't, it's, you don't need to explain. You just mention, you know, illnesses and it's like, whoa, you, you know, there's a universal, I get it kind of thing. So, um, thank you so much, you guys, for being there for me. It, it makes me feel so much better. Um, and just as a reminder, you know, I feel, you know, the gift of giving, um, I'm reaching my 500, um, subscriber number. Um, you guys just thank you so much for supporting, um, definitely, uh, share and, um, you know, let's get this number up so I can do my giveaway. I want to have more joy, replace the kind of you know frustrations and sadnesses and I don't know I also feel like kind of helpless too with this whole family situation so you know let's let's create something um that I can kind of I mean I guess distract but <laughs> but also look forward to um you know because all I right now it's all a matter of just waiting and um, I'm not too sure if anybody else out there feels the same way, but um, waiting is a pain, you know, especially when it's something as detrimental as health, you know, it's just, you know, it's definitely a time where you feel really helpless, but um, enough of that, I'll probably mention again in my next video, but that will be the end of it because um, I'm doing voiceovers for both videos today and I want to get this done 
we're gonna welcome August and it's going to be um, it's going to be definitely better and um, prosperous for us all um, here on YouTube so anyway like I said for my accent nail um, I'm trying something different so um, I'll use caviar beads here and there, but here I'm going to, um, try to, like, drive some of this design using the caviar beads. Um, and that's not an easy thing. You have to get the right ratio of, um, rhinestone glue or gummy jelly or whatever it is you're using, um, versus the top coat you put on it. You want to put the top coat over the glue or gummy jelly because you want, it acts like a shrink wrap around whatever it is you're putting in place so those, um, babies don't, um, fall off. So, um, if you don't get the ratios right, those caviar beads are going to be just swimming all over your nail and you'll be chasing them the whole entire time. Um, but this is a short nail actually, so uh, I'm not usually doing such crazy things on short nails. But as you see here, I'm kind of like relying on the um, stickiness of the rhinestone glue so that I can hold these caviar beads in place while I put down more caviar beads. And the weight of it as well, because they cling to each other and they act like a kinetic mag or magnetic effect. Um, and they can just start dragging themselves to your cuticle or, you know, off the nail somehow. So you definitely need to get those ratios right so you have enough time to play around with it. So here I'm just doing some weird connections with the caviar beads. They're freestanding. Um, I normally just adorn them around rhinestones, but this will be the first time that I'm placing them um, by itself like this. And um, I'm liking how it's looking. It's really nice. I think it definitely completes the design. I thought that, you know, adding accent caviar beads on rhinestones completed this, uh, the design. But when you throw these um, caviar beads in a formation, uh, that definitely <laughs> makes it a nice fuller design and it looks more complicated than it really is. So if you have the opportunity to work with caviar beads, definitely try doing this. You have to have a ton of patience too, by the way. I sped this up five times. So you can imagine how crazy I was just sitting there applying these caviar beads, sometimes one by one. And then when you're trying to grab with a wet brush, um, the caviar beads stick together. And then trying to wipe one of them off the paper towel, as you may see me in this video doing. Um, it's very frustrating because they don't want to separate. Um, I also feel that they have some sort of magnetic or static um, cling to it. So trying to separate those babies is not easy at all. So anyway, this is fairly a simple design because all you got to do is just do the French part and then just adorn it with some rhinestones and caviar beads. So um, the design is actually limitless. So if you intend on um, replicating this design, um, you can pretty much make it your own and do something completely different just using the same techniques. So here I'm putting on some cuticle oil and this set is pretty much done. So this is actually a longer video than I'd posted previous in previous weeks because it was so much uh, caviar beads placements. But um, overall, I think this guy came out, this guy, <laughs> this design came out very sweet. Uh, I love the colors again. Green is uh, one of my favorite colors. Oddly enough, I don't wear it that much, but I'll always choose it for something. Here's a close-up. Look at that accent nail. It's so pretty with the caviar beads. It's a little unfortunate that I practically covered the whole chrome background because I love that chrome um, polish. 
But there you have it. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me for part two where I do the same concept on long nails. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.